all of you are keeping safe and staying here. For today's webinar is uh, interview skills for teach. Facilitated for this session is Miss Preta Togi. A very warm welcome to ma'am. Miss Togi is founder, director, master class, the Institute of Skill Development. A seasoned academician with uh, uh, i mean who uh, uh, dealt uh, uh, harsha you are not audible i think you have a network glitch Hello. Arsha, you are not audible. Your screen is also paused. It's a frozen screen. Hello? Yeah, it's a frozen screen, Harsha. You're not audible. Uh, how about now, ma'am? Now your screen is paused. There's some network problem at your end. How will I ensure that the people are listening to me? They are able to hear me. Hello, ma'am. Yes. Am I audible to you? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Please continue, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I have shared the, this thing. You can continue, ma'am. Please uh, remove this uh, this box from here. What's this happening? Ma'am, please. I'm not sure that I'm. No, no, I'm saying I'm not sure whether I'm audible to the audience or not. Secondly, uh, you know, uh, you, this is a multiple screen that has come on the screen, on my sc screen, basically. Yes, ma'am, you are, are, you you are audible? audible. You are audible. Okay. So, should I share you are audible. Please share the PPTs, ma'am. Okay, no problem. Wait a minute. Yes. Yes, yes. Is it okay? Am I audible? Am I audible? Harsha, am I audible? But you are, whatever you are saying, it is not heard by me. You are not audible. Your screen is paused. There are multiple screens. Okay, fine. Just keep communicating with me on mobile if there is some problem. Fine. Okay, but I cannot hear you now. Okay. Uh, 
ओके मैम यू कैन कंटिन्यू मैम एम आई ऑडिबल टू यू हेलो मैम यस यस शुड आई स्टार्ट मैम एम आई ऑडिबल टू यू यस यस शुड आई स्टार्ट यस मैम प्लीज कंटिन्यू मैम फाइन फाइन यस यस मैम या गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन आई एम श्वेता रस्तोगी एज हर्षा मैम हैज टोल्ड यू अबाउट माय सेल्फ एंड बेसिकली आई एक्सपेक्ट दैट द यंग पीपल वुड बी वेटिंग फॉर दिस वेबिनार to go on live because we are discussing over here interview skills so basically uh, interview skills over here uh, you know it's a necessary topic to be dealt with exactly people are so much misguided like how they should attend the interview what kind of preparations they should do while uh, they are to be interviewed now interview is a process it's a long process which has got two or three steps and you know there are different types of interviews also now i have prepared this slide to just let you know to give you a uh, an in depth about what is actually interview now interview uh, as you know uh, in hindi it is called sakshatkar okay uh, what about interview next now basically suppose you have applied for a job you are eligible to apply for a job and then you apply and you get a call back that on so and so day you are going to be interviewed now what are preparations you should do first of all before applying also there are certain uh, you know things that you should keep in mind whether the job is actually uh, you can say suitable for you or not whether the company where you have applied is worth uh, you know uh, thinking to work over there or not so these are the basic strategies that we follow while we are preparing ourselves now the thing is that the day has come the d day has come that you are going to be interviewed and it's like you know uh, you are going to be selected or rejected now your preparations the skills that you have got uh, you know the skills that you have learned to crack the interview will define your success will give you a boost to your career if you get selected for the job now let me just take you through this uh, ppt presentation just have a walk through and i'll keep discussing about the different interview skills i'll keep in uh, mind about the time that we have with us to tell you and later on uh, within the last 10 to 15 minutes you can put up your queries or questions and i'll answer to them in a relevant manner so i'm just starting up with my ppt so this is about interview skills i'm repeating it is about interview skills now interview what is interview actually when we talk about interview so this is a french word basically which came into focus and the, the basic word was interview the basic word was interview so over here just a minute so it means to see each other face to face now interview means seeing each other okay sitting face to face and you are discussing on some common topic basically it is a topic of your livelihood where you are going to get selected and you are going to start earning and definitely uh, the purpose must defeat it means that you should get that particular job for which you have applied because you must have certain dreams about some aspirations about your career so this particular word was first used in used in 1867 and this job interview because we are concerned over here about job interview this was born in 1921 so this particular word was coined by none other than thomas edison so thomas edison when we talk about who is the inventor for bulb so he actually created a written test and why he created because he wanted to evaluate the knowledge the potential of the candidates who are applying for job so the word has uh, originated from the french word interview and in english it turned out to be interview okay so next i would move on now see this is the general scene where the interview is going on and you know you are sitting before the interviewer now let me tell you these two words basically the person who is going to interview is the interviewer interviewer may be one or it may be a panel of interviewers like you are being uh, questioned by so many people over there like one person may be the hr head the uh, one person may be from the management side one person may be from the technical aspect you know who would be sitting over there to interview and you the person who has applied for the job and is sitting there for the interview is called interviewee okay 
So mind these words, interviewer and interviewee. Now, these are some strategies that I have worked over here. How to win an interview. Basically, have a positive mindset. Having a positive mindset is very much required over here to crack an interview. But there are certain preparations also which you have to go for. Let's move ahead. Now, see, basically, when we talk about the chances of selection during the job interview. Now, this is a kind of a pie chart which is there for you to know that exactly 21%. Okay. So, they ask relevant questions and they listen actively. So, the question is what most improves during the job interview? If you are listening to the questions, uh, you are focused. So basically, your chances get improved. They, they, they actually you score much on that level. So if you are listening to the questions uh, properly, because maybe that you don't listen or you overhear and you by mistake give answers of some wrong questions. So you have to answer according to the question. Only for that you need to be focused. Second is you know over here. See this maroon color. It is eighteen percent. It means skills and experience. Now, the contribution of your skills and experience, the work history is only 18%. For 15%, we give uh, the credit to the enthusiasm. How much motivated you are for the job? Are you so much excited? Are you having that zeal to work for the com company? So, is in that way, you know, you find that the company actually tallies, the company actually tries to find out, figure out that are you really an engaging personality? Would you be an asset to the organization in that way? And when we talk about the cultural fit, the cultural fit is not like, you know, you are a Hindu or a Muslim or you belong to India or somewhere else. But it is the culture of the organization that we are talking over here. Would you be a fit to the organization's culture or would you be a misfit? Can you adjust yourself? Are you flexible? Okay, so all these qualities, uh, you know, these qualities may give you a chance to crack the interview. This is your first impression. I must tell you, uh, you know, sitting in the interview is your first impression. Like your CV is the blueprint. When you have given your CV over there, posted your CV. So over here, while we are sitting for the interview. So the, your interview is going to be your first impression over here. And for 9%, the contribution goes to your excellent verbal communication skills. Now, it is if it is a technical job or if it is a mechanical job or it is a, you know, you can say communication job. So your excellent verbal communication skills do matter. How you present yourself. Okay. Do you know about the communication strategies or not? Definitely we can have a different webinar on this. So exactly the next webinar that we are going to have on 28th will be about your CV writing. So do join me there. I'll be uh, over here elaborating about the techniques of CV writing. Then the next is your, uh, you know, your your body language that actually talks about you. Are you able to maintain the eye contact? So having an eye contact, uh, you know, with the interviewer, it shows that you have that confidence or capability. It it talks about your confidence, how much brushed up you are. Okay, so that is the positive body language. Now, if you are so much doubtful about, you know, you, you sit like this, you sit like that, you sit like that. So if you are able to see me here, so exactly that will define that you are a little puzzled. So while you are confident, sit, sit properly like this, keep your hands over here on your, on your thighs and then, you know, you sit comfortably, right? Don't lean on the chair like this. So sit comfortably and with your back straight and have an eye contact with your interviewer. Next, when we talk about the last thing, that is the other elements, you know, they also take place for 18%. Other elements may vary from person to person and from interviewer to interviewer. So exactly this is, uh, you know, the 100% sum up. What are the chances, you know, of selection or you can say what elements improve the chances of selection during the interview? So let me move ahead. Now, see, when you talk about interview, I told you that interview is a process. When we talk about that interview is a process, now there are different strategies to work over to prepare yourself for interview. The first thing is before the face to face interview has taken place, what is pre interview and after the interview has taken place, what is post interview? Obviously, the interview is the common is the major scene. But what are your preparations? So definitely your pre-interview would involve all those preparations. Exactly. This is the, the, uh, the basics uh, of the interview skills that I'm going to just illustrate, just uh, throw light upon. And that is very important and mandatory for you to cover up. 
now see now these are the types of interviews that i have written over here i just wanted to tell you that uh, definitely now this is the age after covid where everything uh, has come from uh, you know offline to online there are modes of online uh, you know work from home culture has come up so exactly online interviews have started taking place and uh, you may also have gone through some online interviews secondly when we talk about the basic the traditional interview was always and has always been face to face interview where you go and attend the interview you sit for your uh, chance to you know uh, you sit for your turn and then you are called and you get into the cabin where the interview is going on that is face to face interview and you may meet a single interviewer or otherwise you may meet a panel of interviewers that's your luck second is your the panel that i'm telling you so the second one falls in that category that may be called a panel interview or a committee interview for example uh, you have applied for a government job uh, you know as a professor in a university so definitely the the vice chancellor would not be the only person there so there would be the head of the department there would be you know somebody from outside also and uh, a patron also and uh, you know uh, other existing bodies the members of those bodies you know who may be uh, you know worth noticing over there they would be present over there so that would be a panel or a committee interview so they would check on your command over the subject they would check on your communication skills they would also check on your other aspects they would go through they would scan your cv also though they must have scanned beforehand when you have been called but right that time also your cv would be in their hands next is your behavioral interview what is behavioral interview now during the interview round you are being asked certain questions where you know you are being uh, just about like what would be your wisdom what would be your treatment of the of the questions which are imposed on you like how would you have done that in that particular situation okay so these we will be dealing later then the telephonic interview so generally telephonic interview becomes the primary source of interview other than the face interview you may be uh, interviewed telephonically also and then you may be asked to appear for the main round of interview that is face to face interview next is your group interview and one more thing that i want to tell you over here is walk in interview walk in interview because you see that there are many competitors and you know for a single job there are thousands of people applying for that particular job so these are walk in interviews where you talk about you know that you know group of people reach over there at a particular place at particular you know time mentioned over there and you know for one post at least you know uh, 10 to 50 candidates are there waiting for their call and you never know who may be the lucky one to get interviewed okay so let's move ahead uh, now i have told you just it was just a kind of an overview how many types of interviews can be there now the main concern was what is pre interview when we talk about pre interview so basically when you get to know about uh, you know that there is an interview for a company and you are trying for the job and that job suits, uh, suits your personality that job matches your personality your your eligible your your qualification and your experience though you may be a fresher also but you think that you you may be the suitable person the apt person to apply for that job so what would be your first task your first task would be that you would search about the company also like a company is equally interested in knowing your profile so it is your duty and your responsibility that you also go through the profile of the company if the company is an mnc if the company you know is uh, is a, is working at a national level is a local company whatever it is if it is uh, you know suitable for you if you find that it is worth working over there so first of all judge it whether the company is okay so how would you judge it you just go through the company's website if the companies are genuine so they generally offer you the website address okay www.xyz.com or dot in whatever the url may be and so exactly you have to research about the company and it should be an in depth research not only that you are going to check about the authenticity of the company but also to, so that you can come to know about who is the ceo of the company and what is the structure organization structure what is the work culture of the company uh, how many uh, domains does the company deal in so for that reason the research is very essential okay because when you are going and you are you know standing just in front of the company you have kind of an overview in your mind that this is a company where i have applied for and when i enter in i would find the same things that i have researched about 
next when we move on to understand your job profile what is your job actually uh, asking you to do that is you know understanding the job profile for example when you apply for a suitable job for example if you have applied for a hotel job as in uh, you can say as a front office uh, manager so over here what is your responsibility what does your job profile offer you is it a day shift job is it a night shift job how many hours of work and how many days of work and exactly what will you have to do what all will you have to do while you are talking about your job profile whether it is matching your your uh, your qualifications or not next when we talk about multiple copies of your cv and resume must be there while you enter into the company for your uh, interview because you may be asked about presenting your cvs you know some place or the other place or maybe you know all those two three panels uh, you can say people of uh, 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 from the panel of interviewers may ask you cv for their own liking exactly everyone may need one cv so you must have at least four to five copies of cv the hard copies of cv don't think that you have got it uh, in soft copy so they would be actually making some efforts to uh, you know just go through the online cv the the soft copy of the cv though i must say that you know this seems sometimes a burden some to get the print outs of cv for four to five number of copies and uh, when we say that we should uh, not cut trees and somehow they contribute to uh, deforestation but definitely then this is an official thing where this is the minimum requirement that you go for now in pre interview that what whatever i have told you just now like whatever you are carrying with you now this is your preparation part how should you prepare yourself for the pre interview so second is over here second is over here that uh, organizing you know any of the material like you are carrying what all you are carrying with yourself first check it first check it what you are uh, carrying with yourself and check it a day before or at least two days before that you have prepared every material that you are required to uh, you know uh, to bring along with you to the organization for interview like you may be requ uh, requiring your passport size photographs you may be requiring the photocopies of relevant documents like pan card or aadhar card or even your passport okay and uh, other than that you know your your mark sheets your original mark sheets as well as the photocopies of those mark sheets or the certificates okay so all these things have to be brought so they must be carried in a particular well managed folder so that you know you are not missing you can say you are not missing the chance of losing them your your documents are protected second is you know make your travel arrangements like you are reaching to the organization so basically if you are reaching on time basically you must reach in time there's a difference uh, between on time and in time on time means if the interview is, is at 10 so you reach sharp at 10 and in time means before 10 you reach why i would say that this is a uh, you can say positive outlook that you are punctual but exactly you never know what is unpredicted thing coming before you uh, during the way it may be a traffic jam a jam it may be a puncture in your vehicle and so that these all things will actually flare up the mood of the uh, management if you fail to uh, you can say reach on time these things may delay you so exactly so don't be late and over here set early for about 20 minutes set early for about 20 minutes because this is the time this is a buffer time the the uh, extra time that you are taking to reach over there okay so take the name of god and just leave your home 20 minutes earlier basically like i am the person who would lead you know leave the house for around 30 minutes early okay why because i am focusing on the traffic also generally we see that there is a huge traffic there is a traffic jam on the road so you are not uh, prepared for that so and that time only the delay happens and you become the victim of circumstances and you cut a sorry figure so be on time now see these five things that you would do while you wait for the interview now see you have entered the arena where your uh, organization is there which has called you for the interview and you are entering in so basically you are sitting there while you are waiting for your turn of the interview so what would you do first of all avoid eating food or any kind of soft drink secondly if you can drink water and definitely i would suggest that you should drink water that actually calms you down okay sometimes some people feel nervous some people are having those anxiety pangs before the interview so drink water that will soothe you that will calm you 
then over here you know uh, over this point just don't get confused engage with the receptionist you can say a little bit of hi hello with the receptionist and you can just uh, ask about some some easy questions from the receptionist like you know when is the time uh, you know when you would get your chance and uh, even if you know if you find that the person is uh, you can say it is favorable for you to talk to the person and is welcoming so you can ask about the culture of the organization like about the day shift or the night shift the working hours anything that you want to know now but don't engage too much in talking terms with the receptionist second is over here be aware of your body language so when you talk about uh, when you are sitting over there you may think that you know nobody is noticing you because you are likewise uh, you are like those people who are uh, you can say sitting along with you for the interview but the time that you are sitting over there everybody is noticing you there are cctv cameras which are watching you or you are being watched through them by the management how you are maintaining yourself are you poised enough are you calm enough are you interacting with the fellow colleagues who have come for the interview and secondly over here the fourth class employees okay do watch you and they tell about you people certainly and it is an intentional delivery of these uh, things so you know these they are instructed to do so the fourth class employees like the peons over there okay the uh, the peons over there they must be you know moving around they must be giving about the knowledge about you then moreover when you are sitting over there don't engage too much in your uh, in your mobile uh, keep your mobile at bay first of all you can uh, put your phone on vibrate mode over there so that if important instructions come and definitely i would give you a suggestion keep your phone on silent mode or or switch it off because you may not have that headache that who would be calling you people know that you have gone your own people know that you have gone for the interview they may not disturb you so there may be some spammers there may be some uh, marketing calls which may be coming and you may be disturbed your focus may be actually uh, you may be defocused there so that's why so this is uh, this all sums up that you have to spend your time wisely so you can go through your documents once again because you can prepare how would you speak about yourself whatever is written in the cv as a document should be there on your tongue nothing should be different from that because that's a blueprint okay whatever you are your cv is presenting uh, you before the management now these are the important uh, these are the important things that you know uh, you would uh, like to know like what are the things uh, essential things that you should take care of first of all when we talk about handshake now uh, handshake means you know meeting or greeting the person by shaking your hand and during the corona during the corona it was it was uh, you know something uh, you know we should do namaste and all you know no handshakes mm -hmm. now this is not because of uh, the thing that uh, you are talking about safety and hygiene but handshake is a proper and firm thing that you should do and how you should do let me tell you now see this figure over here the, the these two people are greeting each other so basically if it is required so only when the person is giving you attention offer your hand for a shake okay and how would you offer just let us know now first of all always shake your right hand you have to keep your right hand free if you are carrying some documents carry them in your left hand not in your right hand keep your right hand free so some people in the interview panel may like to you know handshake with you and they would be even they would be uh, taking out their right hand because this is uh, the criss cross way the diagonal way and over there you know when they are meeting you so there must be a distance of 3 to 4 feet between you people obviously when you are uh, standing over there for the and you are seeking the permission to sit you will be waiting for some time you will not sit unless you are you are told to and definitely those people will be courteous enough to tell you to sit down so if one of the interview panelist you know uh, you can say stretches his hand for a handshake so definitely a table would be there in between you people so uh, that particular table can act as a distance as a way of maintaining distance right so exactly it is uh, when you talk about that you should keep a distance of around 3 to 4 feet uh, to shake the hand suppose if you are standing also and if you meet somebody out there so it, this is something what i'm telling you beyond the interview also whenever you shake hands so you have to leave some space between uh, you know you and your uh, your counterpart who is there to meet hands with and there should be a webbed 
you know handshake webbed handshake means you you give your proper hand and your hand should be like this it should not be like this queen's handshake okay so it should be a web to web handshake and moreover some people generally i have seen that they just move from their wrist it is not the proper handshake your proper handshake is when you shake from your elbow from here you should it should be a firm handshake and whenever you are meeting uh, over there and you are shaking hands with the with the people in front of you so it is something you know only two or three smooth pumps are enough these are called pumps you know when you shake the hands of the people it shows your your enthusiasm to meet that particular person okay and then after two or three handshakes leave the hand and just lean back lean back means get back okay so this is the proper way of uh, doing handshake next is now i must tell you something very important though communication skill has always been uh, the essence of any interview okay communication skills not only includes the verbal communication it also includes the non verbal communication this body language has been my uh, my domain of interest where i talk a lot and where i discuss a lot and i have trained a lot so this is the uh, the particular uh, subject of my interest if center would allow me then i would discuss upon uh, you know i would have a session again for body language so basically what i intend to draw your attention towards is that if you are concerned about that you know your english is not up to the mark okay like if uh, you get that nervous and nervousness and you start fumbling or you start stammering that is not the case that is because of your poor confidence level but still if you, you know if you know uh, english in an okay manner like you can present yourself you can speak and that to grammatically correct that is the need of the hour that you should be grammatically correct so that time you know you should stress upon your words it should be easy english easy english is a uh, is a must go thing but then more than that your tone of voice your intonations right uh, over here tone of voice means the pitch that you are using the modulation that you are using it contributes to only 38% whereas the spoken words the verbal english okay the oral communication contributes to only 7% and i must tell you that while you are sitting for the interview talk only as much as is it is required from your side it's not like this that you know you keep on talking and you know that talking just becomes bragging you just brag about yourself that is not at all required during the interview session next is when you talk about body language when you are sitting like this you know you are your way of sitting would tell the person okay that you, how much prepared you are what kind of level of of knowledge or enthusiasm you are having to work for that company so body language is such a thing which you know they would jot down the marks on their sheet on their blank sheet that this person is qualified to be there to work for them or not your body language would tell that the time you enter for example you enter into the arena of the organization the way you are sitting while you are not being interviewed you are sitting in the lounge waiting for your turn to come how you sit over there are you feeling puzzled over there so you must be walking around you must be you know disturbing the people unnecessarily you must be you know just moving around asking for something or the other disturbing the people with so many questions that would show that you are nervous so just sit in a calm and poised manner so that is your body language moreover when you talk about your body language the time when you have been called for the interview you are going to get into a cabin where the interview is going to take place so that time i hope you understand that is the most important point of your life you know it's the important uh, decision is going that is going to happen in your life that you know it's like uh, you know job is like this that you know you're going to have it or leave it okay or you can i must say you are going to have it or lose it not leave it because that's not your choice so the best you can give out here is how you move over there how you walk into the room is also watched by the people who are sitting there for the interview how you stand in front of you how you enter how you draw the chair how you wish them like are you carrying a smile on your face or not is your body giving that kind of or displaying that kind of confidence that is required for that particular job every job requires confidence so your body language tells that how much prepared you are for the interview if you are you know watching in a sorry walking in a loose manner in a lousy manner that would say that this person may be a misfit for the organization and would not be a fit for the organization culture okay let me move ahead so when you talk about the interview the the first impression now obviously i tell you this thing again 
that your CV is your blueprint and your interview, your, your interview round is your first impression because that is the first time that those people are watching you over there, behaving in some manner, or you can say, uh, uh, you can say answering them uh, back for their uh, for the questions that they have put up to you. So exactly, these are the things that uh, they may be reiterating over it, like turning off your cell phone. Okay, walk, took, and look the part. It means don't look an alienated person over there. Get them a feel that you are always, or you can say, even though you're not being appointed, but you are a part of their organization. So that is something, you know, walk the talk kind of thing that people do. So their, their way of walking, the way of talking, that only gives them a job. And be confident. If you are not confident, your body posture would be loose. And if you're not confident, you would only be, you know, touching your hair every time. You would just be watching your... These are the exact things that, you know, we notice while we interview the candidates. You just keep watching your wristwatch. Okay, what's the time by your watch? You are just watching. You are just watching here and there. Moving so much. Okay, that actually withdraws your confidence. So be confident. So how can you be confident? First of all, your expertise in your subject of interest for the post for which you have applied. And secondly, the way you are presenting yourself. The way you present yourself, that matters the most. Then maintain eye contact, as I have told you, because when you maintain eye contact, so that time they, sh they see that the person is quite confident. Stay relaxed. Don't be confused or stressed. This is where nervousness or anxiety pangs come. So for that thing, I told you that having a glass of water would really work for you. Okay. Just go through a CV again if you're sitting outside in the lounge. Then so that, you know, you may brush up that what you have to speak. Next is present a strong handshake when you meet the people. Strong means having only two, three puffs and then, you know, just giving a smile. One thing is very much necessary while you uh, shake your hands, have an eye contact. And secondly, you know, give a give a uh, light smile, uh, you know, to those people with whom you are shaking your hands. Your tone should be very friendly and welcoming. And one more thing that I have observed, like some people are asked about the questions and they just keep saying, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, sir. OK, this is like, you know, uh, in our uh, communication language, we call them passengers. OK, don't be passengers to those questions, to, to those, uh, you know, to that particular scene where you are being interviewed, because that's a matter of your career. So in fact, you know, if you're being asked about something, you you have that chance to speak. So they are giving you a chance to come up. They don't say that, you know, you should be quiet and saying yes and no. They're not there to interrogate you. They are going there, they're there to, uh, to evaluate you and to interview you, to judge you. So to judge you, to, inter inter uh, to interview you, or to evaluate you, you need to open up. So that is the thing that uh, you should take care. Then the first thing and the last thing would be your smile. If you don't know anything, if you don't know the answer to anything, just say, you know, sorry, I don't know the answer, but keep a smile on your face. Don't put a question mark on your face. Let us move ahead. When you take a one minute pitch. Now, first of all, you know, one minute pitch means how you are preparing yourself. First of all, you know, focusing on that particular interview is very much uh, required at that moment of time. And secondly, over here, you know, this tell me about yourself. This question actually haunts people a lot. Like what would they think about? Like those people who are listening to me right now, if I ask them, tell me about yourself. So everyone would be having a different answer. But first of all, they would be having that kind of imagery. What should I say? If you are having this question in your mind still, what should I say before answering? It means you are not prepared. So it, it, this is a question, a random question, which can be asked from you, you know, time and again from the people from different backgrounds. So you must be able to tell about your qualities, about your skills, about your aspirations, your ambitions, and about the company, if you're associated with everything. So, and next is your plan, your focus, and emphasize on your relevant skills while you are being talking about yourself. So that's the best time you can describe yourself. You can tell only about the positive things. And suppose if you have some kind of, uh, you can say, uh, you you have some kind of uh, something bad about you to tell. So talk it in a way that it becomes a positive point about you. Okay. So next is uh, avoid negative situation. So first of all, when you will be confident, so definitely you will be putting yourself into a positive light. You will be presenting yourself in a rich manner. And moreover, uh, this is uh, this is where you are being checked about. If you have applied as a fresher, it's okay. But if you are currently working somewhere or you have left a job and you have applied for a new job, 
so basically uh, you know the management wants to know about your experience with your previous boss or the previous organization so that time you should never crib about you should never uh, give a wrong image of the organization in fact you must state that you have had a great experience uh, you know working with those people and if you are leaving the job you are leaving for your own growth for more exposure right now about your skills basically uh, which skills to be focused upon like the, you must be having many skills and uh, now which skill has to be highlighted now that particular skill which is relevant for that job which you have applied and you are sitting here for the interview so you can implement that skill immediately out here you know into that organization while you know you can expose yourself you can uh, present yourself very well so you should focus on those skills for example if i would say uh, you know i am confident and i have great communication skills i have excellent communication skills i am a sound decision maker okay so these skills can be exhibited from your personality they may ask you certain questions like you know where you would have a choice of decision making and that would become a behavioral question and one thing over here that uh, you should know that uh, what employers are checking in you that do you have an idea what do they uh, do they check in you they check how much valuable can you be for them how much uh, can you contribute towards their growth like if you are being assigned a job in the company and you are getting a handsome salary so basically how much uh, efforts can you put in the development in the growth of the company can you be an asset to the, to them to these people so uh, what is your contribution going to will you be really con uh, contributing to the organization this is what is being checked during the uh, during the interview so that is why i say if you don't know anything they are not asking you to be 100% perfect okay so just say no to that question uh, just say that you do not know okay and you please don't just uh, kind uh, do uh, create a scene of a mind boggling question out there next is you know tell your story now if they ask you about you know uh, first of all tell me about yourself so that is the best time to describe yourself you have to prove yourself to be the best moreover over here you can illustrate like they would first of all put up the questions to you these questions are coming ahead like you know what you would have done if you would have in this situation so if you would have been in that particular situation just try to speak about yourself about your decision making about your efficiency about your capability okay so like these are the relevant skills uh, which are required these are the soft skills you know in your personality which are required over here to be exposed so that these people can have a uh, trust on your abilities and can have a sound decision that they see yes, as this candidate is right for the job and is apt for the job and he should be hired okay and moreover this is the last but this is the important thing be true to what you have written in your first of all in your cv and secondly whatever has happened in your life if you have written something in your cv that must be 100% correct that must not be exaggerated or that must not be wrong that must not be a lie because when you say uh, when you tell lies exactly there are more chances to be caught why because you become nervous you you don't focus on the entire interview session you would only focus upon like that i have said this thing as a lie i have told a lie and how to actually manipulate you would just be busy in manipulating the things and you would lose the chance so basically if you are a fresher don't try to hype that yes i have two years of experience you won't be able to actually defeat those people because they would ask you the re relevant questions related to the technical skills right so don't tell lies over there now these are the online interview tips which i have included over here like because i told you that after this covid session you know this online platform has become like we are over here uh, you know associated with each other right now we are sharing the screen so online interviews are you know uh, are basically the common things now these are not something new for us to go through so uh, now what are the precautions that you should take that your interview goes well and you leave a good impression first of all while you are looking uh, you are sitting in front of the laptop first of all you should have a laptop to attend the interview you should not carry a phone and you should start using your phone and you should click on the you know on the zoom link or a google link or webex meeting right that would give you a very bad impression secondly your background that is you know whatever is there behind you that should be either you know if i think i have also kept it blurred so it should be a very uh, you you can say it should it can be a curtain if you are sitting at home no problem 
okay it should be a plain surface behind you thirdly over here when i talk about that there should be no noise while you are being interviewed online okay secondly uh, while looking into the camera like you have to maintain an eye contact so he's watching you over here you're being watched through the camera of the of your of your laptop or or the pc so exactly this this good eye contact don't look here and there they are watching you through the camera so don't forget secondly what i have written over here don't be afraid to ask for a question to be repeated now see because this is online communication going on there may be sometime a kind of a network glitch like i think it happened uh, in the early phase of our um, session or it could be like you could not have heard it properly so just don't forget or just don't be afraid to ask the question again you can say pardon me or excuse me i like you know you could not put your ears to so it is something which is mandatory for you to ask the question again because you may not have heard it properly right secondly over here i told you that you know it is the noise when there is a lot of disturbance the sound becomes the noise noise means you know it becomes very unhappening uh, place also like you know there are there is a lot of disturbance people won't be able to focus on what you are saying like you may have the problem to uh, listen to those people so that may be the sound you know the noise may be one of the reason that you are not able to hear them to so sit in a uh, in a room in an isolated room where your network is quite strong like if you have a wifi router or if you are even using a hotspot so that is strong and nobody disturbs you during the time you are being interviewed tell your family members that you know you should not disturb me i am getting interviewed keep your phone silent again next is while you are speaking out if you don't know the thing so definitely you are being watched on the camera your facial expressions would work for you if you know the answer your face would be very confident to reveal that yes you know the answer moreover like you are sitting so you don't uh, just uh, take it for granted okay that this is online interview i can sit like this i can sit like that you can just keep revolving on a chair this is very wrong this is very unprofessional you think that these people are having an online interview it's just the screen that is working for you it is just at the uh, you can say comfort of your home that you are being interviewed you are saving your time and money uh, on your travel and that is why companies are also affording online interviews right so this is something you know your facial expressions do uh, do count over here while you are being interviewed moreover while you are answering the question so over here uh, for a particular question you need to you don't need to tell them an essay kind of thing whatever you are speaking up put a pause after a sentence put a pause after a for example you are using a comma so put a pause a little pause over there so you have to show that kind of segregation or bifurcation of the thoughts it is not something an essay that you have crammed up for example tell me about yourself so it is not something that you have crammed throughout the night and you are putting it up to the uh, to the interviewers out here those who are just across the screen so this is something very mandatory that pause before answering a question to be sure that the interviewer has finished speaking so, so this is something mandatory to hear the question properly so hear him completely it means you should be uh, you know your mouth should be uh, closed uh, when the speaker is speaking don't disturb him let him complete in the same way interviewer will also uh, you know not disturb you while you are uh, answering he will give you the uh, you can say the the complete time to speak and stop right next is your money now money means exactly you are getting uh, you are getting the um, you know the idea or you can say you are being told that you okay you are selected okay uh, one thing that i must tell you if the hr manager if, if the interviewers tell you okay we will let you know this particular thing hints that you know job is not yours we will let you know is 80% no okay unless and otherwise you know there is some kind of uh, uh, you can say uh, the the third round of interview that is going to be conducted so basically when you are being asked about the money don't focus too much upon the money your money if you if you want a good package so you can relate it with your experience and your skills and about the last package drawn so generally they ask you about the last package drawn that should not be a lie to the interviewers okay so this is these are the financial particulars you know the company may be asking uh, about your job so it is something uh, you have to wait you don't have to show that curiosity when it comes to talking about okay how much do you expect so this is something you should keep a poise over there you should not be money hunting person 
and you know uh, either you know let the interview be finished and then you can ask your expectations that or you can lay down your expectations there so you have to wait till the end of the interview when this question comes to you and this question also defines that yes they are in a mood to hire you okay next is your post interviews uh, you know skills when your interview is over okay and you get out of that arena you get out of that building and you reach home now first of all uh, when you are reaching home don't tell people on internet don't tweet uh, don't put it on facebook or on instagram that yes i went to such and such company for an interview for example if you go to tcs or ibm so don't post it over there okay because this is something against the rules of uh, the interview against uh, the the authenticity of the interview right so over here in fact when you reach home afterwards send a thank you note uh, send a mail just stating thank you that it was such a nice interview and so exactly it was a uh, it was an enriching experience you know attending the interview there so just send a thank you note next is now what are those interview questions that you know we must talk about exactly uh, when we talk about uh, the interview questions now these questions depend upon first question i have always told you that this is uh, you know uh, tell about yourself next question would be like why did you leave your last job if you are not working and if you are not a fresher even and where do you see yourself 5 years from now is a very general question why should we hire you what do you really want to be to 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 be in life or to do in life what are your long range career objectives why did you choose this career these are certain you know basic questions that are being asked from you and these are uh, i may call them as traditional questions so you must be prepared about why should we hire you so you must talk about your skills and why did you leave your last job so jo don't just complain about your last employer okay where do you see yourself 5 years from now so it means that that you know you should be uh, able uh, to to draw a kind of a you know projection that where do you see yourself 5 years from now okay so why did you choose this career why, why particular thing actually attracted you interested you to choose that particular profession now tell me about yourself i have discussed a lot about this okay next is your these are the sample answers that uh, i can say that i uh, collected for you like if uh, you know if you are telling about yourself so you may focus on actually just uh, you know have a feel about what interviewer wants to talk what interv uh, interviewer wants to hear from you so next is you know when you talk about just a minute when you talk about you know uh, you give some examples of your accomplishments if you have had a project in your hands and how much successful it was just talk about it okay next is you know uh, suppose when your experience does not directly apply to the job opportunity that time how would you handle the situation it is all about uh, you know telling about yourself tell about your skills that yes you are a keen learner and that you will be readily uh, you know uh, you can say able to uh, accept the opportunity as a challenge next is for those people like you know who are freshers so they have nothing to tell about their experience but yes they can tell about their internships they can tell about you know any kind of uh, you know opportunity opportunity they have had you know during some kind of summer break or winter break now these are the things which you know you should not do while you know you are telling about yourself okay don't talk about your personal information talk only the relevant things related to your job you have to stick to job your focus should be on job and all those relevant skills should be uh, you know out from your mouth while you are discussing about your uh, about uh, you know if you are being asked about you know uh, tell tell us about yourself now these are the clichés like you know you keep saying a simple a single statement about you every time stop saying about uh, you know about yourself stop bragging about yourself stop saying a particular statement again and again that becomes a cliche and moreover because you are not prepared so it may happen that you fumble that time stumble you ramble so it means that you are confused it means you are not prepared so don't get that look so that is preparation which will talk about you know your confidence level now why should we hire you is a company uh, is a question which companies generally ask you know uh you know show that you are confident enough you accept the challenges you can work under pressure you can deal uh, you are a sound decision maker you can deal with the uh, you know with any sort of condition that comes before you in that way show that you are an asset to the organization 
these are the sample answers for why should we hire you so exactly this the the first one that i'm uh, showing it to you over here so tell about your core competency tell about your skills tell about that you are uh, you know a fit to the culture of the organization tell about your experience if you have had any if you are a fresher then it's okay tell about your internships how you had dealt with the people tell about this thing tell about your achievements of your college life anything that you can describe about yourself now over here uh, next is why do you want this job exactly it is not because of the bread and butter that job would provide you but it is also for because you are eligible for the job and what skills actually make you uh, eligible for this job why do you want this job so basically you know it's about uh, you know uh, because you have researched about the organization as i told you earlier you have to tell, tell uh, about why do you want this job now you have to correlate the expectations of the employer and your skills over here and you have to frame up that answer accordingly that is something you know you have to be uh, having the presence of mind also while you are answering some questions let's move ahead no exactly uh, may i have harsha over here harsha are you able to hear me harsha uh, yes ma'am i'm here only ma'am okay harsha can we continue a little bit uh yes ma'am uh, better we, if we can do it by within 5 minutes ma'am from now yeah sure because yeah, uh, i questions. we have few questions from the participants okay, okay. yeah sure sure uh, we can extend it for 15 minutes if no problem uh, no ma'am no ma'am 5 minutes ma'am okay. okay fine so exactly let's just talk, tell you about like i have discussed so many questions with you like behavioral questions they may put you in a frame of situation where they would be asking you like you know if you would have been here and uh, you you are going to tackle this problem how would you have tackled that okay now over here when you talk about uh, this this is a dress code that i wanted to tell you this is something which people ignorantly you know don't take care of and then they fail in the interviews your dressing sense actually uh, you can say uh, becomes a kind of a uh, negative point for you okay you are at a loss because your dress was not complimenting you okay so it is something you know you know you must know this thing that these are the first 30 seconds if you are standing before the interviewer he or she would actually decide in the mind that you are being required for the organization you would be an asset for the organization okay next when we talk about i have differentiated over here for the attire of women and men all together like i have separated i have segregated these points like when you talk about your hair and makeup you always wear your hair you always wear your makeup so exactly if you have long hair so they can be you know they can be like you know they can be brushed behind the ear if you are letting them open okay secondly if you want to make a bun make a decent bun okay and tuck it it should not be like your bun keeps falling down okay bun keeps getting loose secondly uh, your your hair should not actually come on to your face and when you say that you know sometimes i find it very very kiddish or very foolish when people sit not only uh, not with their gla glasses uh, not only with their specs but they sit with the goggles and moreover if they are putting up the goggles like this and if they find that it is acting as a hair bun for them it's a definite no for the people okay that's very unprofessional and a casual look okay second is whatever makeup you are applying the makeup should be a very decent one it should be a natural tone it should not be like you are wearing a red or maroon lipstick to the interview you should be very decent over there okay if you have got your if you maintain the length of the nails they must be trimmed properly secondly they must not be dirty they may be uh, you know painted but they may be painted with decent colors okay next is uh, you know uh, see this is what i have shown you through the example uh, the first lady is looking quite professional okay just because uh, you know she is maintaining her hair and and it is the word hair not hairs generally people say hairs it is very wrong okay and for hair we use singular uh, you know verbs over here next is you know uh, your nails must be i have told you that they must be clean and clear and must be well trimmed and moreover you know uh, i have told you about the lipstick that it should be a very uh, you know gentle tone lipstick and uh, moreover again i'm telling you you brush aside your you know behind your ears you brush your hair behind your ears so mean they may not fall on your face next when we talk about these are the attire that you know what what i am talking about like you can wear any of them they can be a pant suit with a blazer okay they could be a skirt but now the skirt should be till knees it should not be above the knees over here 
uh, yes if you are preferring to go in indian attire then definitely a salwar suit or a sari may also work sari is more preferred over a salwar suit okay so basically uh, this is like this i wanted to tell you that this should be the you know uh, the the dress that you are going to wear that should be up to knees if you are trying to wear a, a skirt and that should uh, that should be a formal skirt right it should not be any colorful or something basically black colored uh, skirt is preferred or otherwise a very gentle tone right now this is the hemline that i'm going to talk about that you should fall just above or on your knee okay this is the hemline where the stick you can see this is the hemline okay short and split skirts they are not good then secondly over here uh, because uh, you know it should be it may be revealing so basically over here you should uh, not wear such kind of skirts okay then next is over here you know uh, they should fit properly they should not be too loose or too tight okay low neck lines with uh, any kind of revealing revealing fabric should not be worn during the interview and what about your shoes like you know if man is known by the shoes he wears it is a general statement polished not be having so high heels you're not going there for any fashion show or something okay they should be polished i can say and uh, you know they should not be making noise sometimes i have observed that people wear some shoes which are either so tight fitting to them or they make noise unnecessarily right next is for men definitely you know uh, some kind of baggy uh, clothes should be avoided okay then over here uh, you know uh, oversized things i must say over here then pants over here they should not be low waist pants they should be professional the formal pants and a tie if you are wearing so the tie is must for you to wear i, I would suggest if you are wearing a professional uh, you can say a formal shirt okay if you are going for a casual interview it depends it's your choice then now over here uh, the classic dark business suit and then uh, you know when you're wearing a business suit you can wear a white shirt a plain shirt okay sometimes you know uh, you can say for less formal interviews you can also wear a patterned or a striped shirts some people also wear you know check shirts but not with the blazer right now this is what i have told you about and this is about you know there are different ways of tying the knot also your knot the the pointed tip of your tie should touch your belt line okay the tie should actually complement the color the color uh, of the tie should be like this that you know the first color the main color of your tie should complement your suit and the the blazer and the second color should complement your shirt okay the major portion of the color should complement your suit and the minor portion of the color would should complement your shirt next is you know these are the things like again polished shoes okay dark color shoes universal color black and brown do work okay and about the socks also people have i have seen that people are wearing white socks under black pants because they are wearing black uh, shoes also that is very much wrong your your socks should match the color of your trouser okay in that way your watch should not be that kind of a dial as you you have put on your wrist a sun dial kind of thing it should be a normal watch it should not be a sports one i think i must say uh, generally people have got the sports watch generally so don't go for that go for a very sober watch okay next is generally because nowadays you know people uh, you can say we are those uh, uh, you know like apple watches and all okay they they may be worn because they are actually related to technology okay uh, then over here your cuffs over here these are the cuffs of the shirt you would be if you are wearing full sleeve shirt over here definitely full sleeve would work so you know cuffs over there with one or two buttons and even you can you know uh, you can say uh, if you are wearing cuff links when you tie those two cuffs with a, a metal button you can say that is a cuff link and that is generally to be avoided unless it is a casual interview right then uh, for for uh, the accessories for jewelry so basically go for a very decent and minimal jewelry don't wear those danglers or those heavy necklaces like this don't wear don't show off okay your jewelry should be very minimal it should it should look very sober on you light makeup okay your hair should be neat i must say kempt k e m p t kempt okay and you should uh, be carrying your documents in a case or in a folder so for that you can carry a decent bag okay instead of carrying all those you know big bags the large bags that you generally have or a sling bag no okay so and don't wear anklets while you are going for the interview because the sound may actually distract the people 
that is a very unprofessional look okay next is your shoes i have told you so uh, high heel shoes are not good okay close toe your your toe should not be visible to the people okay and uh, first of all see that you are comfortable uh, wearing the shoe right now these are the job references that i had talked about because job references are generally used to check your authenticity how much true you are so these are the job references like you know they must they may be from the recent job or the previous job they must not be your family members okay yeah, they can be your uh, your business colleagues they may be your you know your collegiates they may be the customers you have dealt with or the clients you have dealt with in that way and for the freshers you can give some uh, you know reference of your teachers or your professors your professional people you have worked with them during the internship like that these are the tests these tests are very elaborative tests which cannot be discussed during this session but yes generally the companies put you to a test where your personality is being tested your skill is being tested aptitude is being tested some kind of you know demonstration they may ask you to give okay how you are working on a machine in that way and some emotional intelligence test now background check this is very much essential nowadays because the chances of fraudulence are you know more nowadays and so that's why you know people generally conduct a background check okay so definitely give the right information about the person to be contacted your your contact number your website or sorry the email id that you are giving about the uh, person as a reference check should be uh, you know very much true to the knowledge sometimes if you are given the wrong number or an obsolete number which is not working so people may get irritated that the number is not contactable or reachable so this is what i wanted to share with you during this session and i think uh, i uh, i think you know we took at least 10 minutes extra but i hope i did my part well yes over to you harsha uh, yes ma'am there are few queries uh, one or two yes. queries can we take up one should i stop sharing yeah uh, or should i escape no, from here no no i'll, yes, I'll escape you... from here yes no 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 please be there only ma'am please be there okay yes ma'am uh yes. actually uh, ruksar ma'am and vikas sir uh, they are asking about uh, the specific any specific or something specific for uh, specific uh, this one ma'am interview for teaching or teachers they want to know the skills and the see the skill set for yeah the skill set for the interview uh, for the teachers skill set is almost the same like you must be able to talk about your capabilities about your skills and those relevant skills should only be discussed while you are going for an interview round they may ask you for a demo okay so it must be uh, you know that you are uh, you, uh, you can say you are well apt for the demo there you can uh, you know just use your uh, whiteboard to teach over there you are very much uh, you can say apt with the technology with the it skills you must be knowing ms office you must be knowing how to work on a ppt how to present a slide like because generally you know classrooms have those uh, you know uh, uh, these are the ict classrooms ict enabled classrooms where generally you know the children are taught in good schools where there is an availability for the uh, uh, for the uh, you can say for the images for for the videos so you should be able to handle them and definitely when you are talking about experience so don't say anything wrong about your previous organization this is what i told you know that that's a general thing about the interview uh, thank you for the reply ma'am uh, there is one more question by one of the teachers that is it right to read a newspaper or a magazine or book while waiting for an interview to commence uh, yeah exactly uh, i told you that you know you should uh, use your time wisely so while you are reading the newspaper while you are going through some current news and affairs or you are reading a book so see how much time how much uh, you know uh, time you are having with you over there if you are reading a book or something so you see uh, generally what happens you can read a book or news on the mobile also so that is a quality content that you are reading over there that is not going to harm you that is not going to make you lose your focus from the interview right so you can definitely go on but exactly that should not hover around and that should not disturb your uh, or you can say uh, lose your focus from the interview whatever you do if your conscience is telling you it is right don't do like you know you are reading a comic won't help you that would not relieve your stress at, at that moment of time okay so and that way you know if you are engaged with a friend talking over there on phone that would give a very bad impression 
as I have told you that you should switch off the phone. Uh, thank right? you because for Because they may ask that. you. Like I was once asked. I must. I was once asked. Like you know what have what is the uh, current news that you have uh, read or you have heard. So def definitely because I had read the newspaper, I had heard it on the TV before leaving for the interview. I could answer them back. So this is something good if you're reading, so you're updating your knowledge. Thank you for the reply, ma'am. Uh, one more question from Kalyani, ma'am. She's asking, could you tell about skills important for principal of a school? Pardon me, please. Uh, could, uh, could you tell about skills important for principal of a school? Okay. For yeah. a principal, first of all, principal will, must be, you know, uh, must be uh, you having that proper knowledge of over here. You know, he must be having that particular experience to deal the teachers. First of all, a principal should be empathetic. I must say, you know, the principal should feel what the other teachers are going through. Empathy, empathy means like, you know, you're putting your shoes into the, you're putting your, your feet into the shoes of others. So he must be empathetic and he must realize the the pains and efforts of the teacher, of all the teachers, in fact. Secondly, his sound decision making and, you know, meeting the deadlines while a person is working as a principal is very, uh, you can say, these are, uh, these are must for a person to be acting as a principal. Sound decision making and exactly excellent communication skills do become a mandatory requirement for the principal. Right. Uh, and I have seen that uh, generally, you know, principals also, uh, you know, uh, take their uh, subject of their choice. Basically, I must tell you that uh, this is what I have observed. People may have different opinion, though you are working as a principal. You should not be away from the subject of your expertise. You, you should keep taking some classes of that particular subject at any level you want. So in that way, you know, uh, you should carry yourself as a principal. Thank you, yes, ma'am, uh, for the replies. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Shweta, ma'am, uh, for a very engaging and informative session for our community of teachers. I'm sure that our teachers have got a lot of takeaways from this session. Uh, thank you so much, uh, all the participants, for engaging with us today. Uh, to register for more such upcoming webinars, please visit my center. Uh, thank you once again. Thank you so much. And it was really uh, very, uh, you can say, I am thankful to you people. So that I could actually throw some light upon these intricate topics, you know, uh, these valuable topics over here, which people generally miss.